Uh, William, thanks, David. Hi, John. Uh, thanks for giving us your time again. Um, can I ask how your injury is right now and how you've spent the last kind of week and a bit and, and where you are fitness-wise this week ahead of the match? Yeah, good to go, uh, thankfully. Um, trained fully at the back end of last week and then um, sort of did a day with the physios the day we played the 20s and then um, trained fully again uh, today and, and yesterday. And So, yeah, good to go. Um, Thankfully. When you look back upon the game against France a couple of weeks ago as a squad, the, the fact that you made a slow start in that game and got punished on the scoreline on the scoreboard early on, ten 0 down, was that something that you spoke about? Maybe not trying to repeat specifically this weekend. Yeah, of course, it's something that we spoke about. We spoke about the start of the game and uh, you know bouncing back from that, we did really well. But um, sort of not letting them get into that position in the first place was uh, yeah we spoke about it at length. But um, I suppose they're lessons that we we need to learn, and, and uh, I, I hope that we have, and uh, we'll we'll you know get better for it in the future. When you look at the Italians, your opponents this week, how important is it that you don't look at their record in this competition? They haven't won a match for a while. Uh, that you 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 still as sharp and as focused as you need to be, um, you know, with such an important game in terms of the overall context of the competition. Yeah, that's that's really where our focus has been. Our focus has been, of course, on 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 Italy because they're our opponents, and we we give every opponent the the respect, uh, the equal respect, I should say. Um, you know, in terms of how we prepare, and but then it comes a stage in the week where it's all about you and, and your performance and, and the team's performance and um, you know that's very much where our focus is because you know if you, if you don't get your best performance out there um, you know then you're not going to win so we're all our focus is on that really thank you have a good week thanks hi Johnny Ashton here from off the ball brilliant hi. to hear that you're your back fit just looking on um, on the, the France game Obviously, your injury happened late in the preparation for that game. How did you think that Joey done in mentally preparing for that last minute and his performance overall? Yeah, I think, well, I, I pulled out early on the, was it the Wednesday? Um, and uh, I was hoping it wasn't too bad, but we went for a scan and, and it was bad enough to ruin myself out of the game. And, um but we've been, you know, swapping in and out all the time. And um, but I thought he, I thought he did well. And the, to always get called in late, it's it's always it's always tougher. I suppose um, he would have been preparing the same anyway. Knowing him, he's, he's a very good professional and uh, it always does his, his prep right. So I don't think it would have affected him too much. But he was uh, look, he was composed on the day and, and did well. And um, you know, it's it's good for him. You know, having a tough time with injury to, to get back. And he's he's played a few games now in the. In the summer, and then Argentina and France, so he's he's, he's getting, I suppose, those games uh, in in the international arena under his belt, and and he'll only be, uh, you know, much better for it. And for you personally, was it tough to watch on from the sideline in South France? Yeah, of course. Like I'm not a, I'm not the best spectator, um, and this game was w was particularly tough. Um, I suppose it was a game. I, I almost had in my head for the last two years, um, you know, based on what happened there previously, and, and I thought that I was in a great place to, to go and, and put that to bed and, and put those demons to bed and, and look, bad timing with the, to pick up the small injury like I did, but um, look, there was some great learnings for the team in, in there, and, and uh, but it was tough, it was definitely tough to watch it. Yeah. Thanks, Johnny, best of luck at the weekend. Thank you. Johnny Herthings is Bernard here at Virtual Media. Hi. Hi, Johnny. Um, Joey spoke to us, I suppose, the last two weeks about just what you're doing for his game and, and what being around you uh, means to him. He also said last week he obviously wants to hold on to the jersey this week. Just the other way around, what does that competition from Joey as somebody who wants to beat you to the jersey, I suppose, this weekend, do all he can to beat you to the jersey this weekend? What does that competition do for you? Um... Look, I'm 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 well used to comp competition. Like I've had it my whole career. Like whether it was early doors with with uh, Ronan O'Gara and Felipe, you know, in, in 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 Ireland and in Leinster, and then you know when you when you get the jersey, then you have always someone uh, someone else that you're competing with over the years, like Ian Madigan, Ian McKinley, Paddy Jackson, 
uh, you know, like Joey, obviously, for the last, like, Joey's been around a long time. I think, you know, he's been, uh, he's 26 now, so we've been, we've been, I've been used to it for the last five years. So it's not, it's nothing new, really. Like, it's nothing's, nothing's changed for me. To what, what's important to me is to make sure that, um, I suppose I prepare as best I can. I, I, I you know, no point in, in worrying too much about what other people are doing. It's, it's you got to concentrate on yourself, and, and that's what I've always tried to do. Of course, I, res I respect all, uh, you know, other tens in Leinster. I've got great competition with, with the three guys there, and, and um, so it's nothing new. But like I said, you just have to focus on yourself and make sure that you're fit and, and firing when you, when you do get the, the chance to play. Mentioned it there, just focusing on the, the Irish performance this week, not worrying too much about Italy. What are the work ons following that France game in terms of what's to come in this tournament? Italy this weekend, then then two massive games to finish the tournament. Look, there's lots of lots of things to, to work on um, across all parts of our game. Um, you know, so it's it's not one thing that let us down against France. It was sort of small things throughout a lot of areas, um, and we've we've spoke about them more last week. We spoke about them, and and this week's about trying to to rectify them and 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 then just concentrate our performance and make sure we we play much better against Italy and and get the result that we need. Thanks, Johnny. Thanks, Moreno. Do you want to jump in there? Thank you so much. Uh, good morning, Johnny from Rome. Just one question, you played 10 times in your career against Italy uh, with two World Cup pool deciders in 2011 and 2015. Have you seen any difference in the growth of rugby in Italy? Where can you place Italy now? And if you have seen maybe something different in the last uh, few months with uh, Kieran Crowley? Thank you. Yeah, I've always been uh, really impressed with, with any team I've uh, played against, with, with Kieran Crowley as coach, you know, with Treviso. Canada um, at, at the previous World Cup and and now and now Italy and and yeah you can see some of the improvements they've made already you know in the in the first two games um, and I think obviously look it's it's clear they're in a, a little bit of transition as as is every time that you you know get rid of one coach and bring in another it takes time to to bed down ideas and to to get everyone to buy into them and 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 be good at them so. Um, they are in a little bit of that, but I, I think they've we've seen big improvements compared to where they were last year, and, and we are very mindful of some of the the very good individuals they have um, to rate the team, and and we're giving them the the full respect they deserve um, in terms of how we're analysing and preparing this week. Thank you so much. See Thank you. On Sunday. Thank you. Hi Johnny, how's it going? Um, Johnny, was that injury that you suffered? Was that were you running in training or twisting, or do you know how you picked it up exactly? Yeah, I was running. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and in terms of your preparation and recovery now, age thirty six, is that different than it was a few years ago? And at the start of your career, do you have to put extra emphasis on warming up and warming down and recovery when when you're not on the on the training pitch? Uh, yeah, of course, it's it's something that um, I suppose. Uh, yeah, as an older athlete, if you want to call me that, or rugby player, you, you need to look after yourself well and better. And I don't think look, I don't think I could have done much different in terms of my preparation or warm up or whatever. Uh, just one of those things. Um, I maybe was carrying a knock from the, from the Wales game that I was trying to you know train with that that could have had a bearing, but you know you, you just don't know for sure. Anyway, it was a it was a minor enough thing. I bounced back well from it, thankfully, and uh, yeah, I've had some good good training at the back end of last week, and and then fully today with the lads, and and got some some kicking in as well um, back end of last week and early this week. So uh, in a good place now, and and you know fit for selection. Match, Johnny. Thanks. Thank you.